Hello everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at the next section which is going to be called compound formulas, compound angle formulas. Now, let's go ahead and just take a look at a couple of givens that we have. Now we know for a fact that the cosine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2, which is exactly the same thing as the sine of 45 degrees. We also know that the cosine of 30 degrees is going to be the square root of 3 over 2, and that the sine of 30 degrees is going to be 1 half. Okay. Now, those, of course, are going to be determined because we know what the particular ratios are for the 45-45 right triangle and the 30-60 right triangle. And so we know that these values are indeed correct as well as exact. Now, then the question that comes about is what is the exact value of the cosine of 15 degrees? So if you actually went ahead and tried to put this into your calculator, of course, you'd come up with some decimal value. But that's not exact, because even if you were to do this on your calculator, you wouldn't be able to come up with this expression here, which is exact, or that answer there, which is exact. So, the question then became, especially when they didn't have calculators, is how do you actually calculate this? How do you figure out what the cosine of 15 degrees is, knowing that you have these things already, which are set and, and known to be true? Well, what they, what they created, these um, brilliant mathematicians, is they determined that you can actually determine what the cosine of 15 degrees is, so long as you go ahead and use what is called the compound angle formulas. Okay? Now, let's just go ahead and take a look at the compound angle formulas. It says, say for example, if you take the cosine of A plus or minus another angle, B. Okay? So these are two angles here. And what you need to do in order to actually determine what the cosine of a plus b is or the cosine of a minus b is, is you have to evaluate it using this expansion. So notice that this is not the same thing as division. We're not talking about division here, uh, sorry, distribution here. We're talking about the cosine of an angle plus or minus another angle. And if you were to go about doing that, how could you go about evaluating that? You would evaluate it by using this particular compound angle formula. The same thing goes with sine, and the same thing goes with the tangent. Okay, so going back to the original question then is what is the exact value of the cosine of 15? Well, if we think about the cosine of 15, that's exactly the same thing as the cosine of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. And if we use the compound angle formula for the cosine of A minus B, then we have to go ahead and use the cosine of A. In this case, A is going to be 45 degrees. The cosine of b, and b in this case is 30 degrees, and then we have the plus, right? Because this is a minus, so that has to be a plus. This would be the sine of 45 degrees and the sine of 30 degrees. Now we know what all of these values are and the exact representation of those values are, so we can simplify and come up with an expression that says the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4. That is the exact value of the cosine of 15 degrees. So that's how we can answer this particular question of what is the exact value of cosine 15 degrees is we can use the compound angle formulas to do that. Now, the bigger question, of course, is how do you come out across some of those other angles which are a little bit different? Well, sometimes we can't actually go ahead and find an exact value for those because of the fact that we can't go ahead and establish what they look like in terms of a compound angle. Now, one of the things that's going to be very important for us to take a look at going to class is how in the world did they get this? How did the mathematicians actually determine that the cosine of A, let's just use this case, cosine of A minus B was exactly the same thing as the cosine of A cosine of B plus the sine of A sine B. Okay, and what we'll do is in class, because that's very much an A type question, uh, we'll investigate that a little bit more and actually find out how we can get this, and therefore how we can get this, and therefore how we can get that, okay? So, but in terms of actually how to go about calculating and using these compound angle formulas, and there you go, you've actually seen an example of that, and we'll go ahead and take a look at more of those types of problems as well in class, okay? So, to wrap up things again, how can we go ahead and calculate the exact value of, say, for example, something like the cosine 15, which is again based upon some of the angles that we already know, is we can go ahead and use the compound angle formulas to come up with the exact representation of what that is actually equal to. Okay? So, we'll take a look again at how to derive these, and again some other further applications of the compound angle formulas in class the next time that we meet. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.